So yeah, the inaugural Bastion Gaming uh, tournament where we're playing for one of the um, nice um, playmats. And uh, so the, this is basically a straight up our concept. Everyone's bringing their best quality uh, decks. I'm bringing Hyperberg, probably seen a few times. Uh, and <laughs> Stuart, who I'm playing in the first round, has bought the single product of Scroll Hill, which you might have seen before as well. Uh, I have yet to beat this deck <laughs> with Hyperberg, so I'm not exactly massively confident. Um, on the other hand, as far as first turns go, I do have a City State Interest, which is probably the, about the only sort of clutch card I have in this uh, in this matchup. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, I think we will lead off with the Logos. We will play with Sloppy Lab Work. So we will archive that City State Interest. Um, I'm probably discard one of the Saurian cards. Uh, I, I think Wedding Witch Primus is probably going to be the least useful. Uh, all the social series. Uh, Primus. Okay. And so. Yeah, so, so yeah, Simple Protocol is really quick. Um, that's a funny placed urchin and nexus, but okay. Uh, but yeah, the untamed on it is really, really quick. Uh, so, let's think. Uh, I think we are almost certainly there in Logos. Get some cards out of hand also beat their board up a bit. So let's go Logos. He says, hopefully, let's go Logos. Oh, massive leg spike. Do you wish to take archives into hand? No. Uh, so, we will have an animator. Play a Titan Engineer. Kill the Urchin. Play a Dinobot. Kill Nexus. Past turn. How many Nexus did he have? Does he only... Yeah, he's got two. I thought he had two. So, not out of the woods yet for his artifact control. Oh, and lights out. Okay. Uh, as you can see, already racking up the amber. Um... Whilst I sit here doing not a lot, uh, da -da 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 -da. could standardise testing it away, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Archives. No. So engineer first. Ah, oh, why have I done this? Why have I done this? Ah, playing badly already. Yeah, I'm already letting Stuart get to me <laughs> with his deck. No, I was thinking there that I want to. Obviously, I should have played that. So that I was facing first to kill the Dodger. Um, but I was like, oh no, I don't want to do that because I'll shoot, have to shoot something with the um, Titan. As it happens, Stuart's kind of done my job for me. He's mimicry the standardised testing. <laughs> oh, he's regrowing something. Dodger. Has Stuart got another amber pip? Because there's not a lot I can do if he does. I mean, city state at this point when I don't have a creature is kind of poor. So let's go this archives. No, let's kill that Jew fairy. Let's play Pride, play the Obsidian Forge. All right. Yeah, 
Unfortunately, Stuart's deck is just too fast for this hyperbo's gradual build-up of board presence. So yeah, he's now on check. There's not a lot I can do about it. Um. Okay, let's think. I think we go this to get some extra card draw here. Uh, is it any choice of do we do we absolutely board clear? I think we probably still do board clear. Yeah, we'll sacrifice our Maleficorn uh, in order to get that board gone. So let's go. This archives. No. We know there is a dodger though. Um, no, I think we do need to get that off the table. So, key for Stuart. We're still lingering in the very low levels for our own. That dodger presumably is about to come back out again. There we go, there's a dodger. Pawn sacked. Takes the two wards off. Pass back to me. Um, this, purely the this again. Is there anything better than that? Don't think so. Let's go this. Archive the hand. No. Past it untamed. How much bounce am I about to see to return all that to my hand? Two nature's calls would be annoying. Oh well, they're exhausted. Okay. And then nature's calls take off the wards, can't get it back, so they're at risk of uh, basic damage next turn. All now, just put them all back in my hand. Um, let's think about this. You might be better going temporarily, Logos. So... Let's go. Logos. I'll put archives in hand. No. Let's use the animator. Let's choose the Obsidian Forge. We then reap. So you capture. Obsidian Forge. Shoot, big twig. Shoot, big twig again. End the turn. So, captured one away from, from Stuart. I... Got ourselves two key. Are we going to keep it? Oh, you are 
kidding me? That was a little bit lucky on Stuart's behalf, but never mind. Yeah, he wild wormhole got to seven, then key charged. Oh well. Um, so he's a key ahead. Alright, which way do we go here? Do we go this to try and get all the um, all the sins out again and draw uh, three cards hoping to get to one of the infernuses doesn't do much for our own end but or do we try Sauri and dig with Sauri because I don't think we want to go Logos at this point Uh, let's dig with Saurian, I think. Oh, come on, not another leg spike. There we go. Don't know why it's... Archives to hand. No. Uh, so... I uh, don't know, I think we humble it first, I think, actually. So, humble big twig. So I say he's gaze it. Play the console that side. Nice turn. And we got to an infernus. Yeah, unfortunately, this isn't doing anything. Isn't going to do anything for for Amber, um, but it is possibly the best Amber control at the moment outside outside of that city state. Customs office. Well, I guess we're getting rid of the the star. Okay, gave me a load, but also killed it. Although, do need to kill that Nexus. Might have to go Logos in order to kill the Nexus. Um, otherwise my Obsidian Forge isn't long for this world. Read with the books and see what we get. Yeah. We'll take that. Slows slows down a bit. I don't think it's gonna make any difference in the in the in the uh, long run. Why is it not letting me select the animator? Oh come on. Disconnected. Right, there we go. Back in. Um, yeah, so break key. Right. Um, 
is the animator on the Obsidian Forge. And we reap with it, play the Eclectic Inquiry, capture on it. Fight the Nexus. And pass turn we check. And we might be able to, to try and eke out a, a forge win. Oh, library access turn coming. Um, any more neuro siphons or just the one? Just the one neuro siphon. So we're probably going to get our key. If we get ours, they're not on check. I think, I think we deploy the dis um, for what we can what we can do at the moment. Um, and then hopefully try 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 for forge next turn. Got another Infernus. Archives the hand. I say yes at this point. I think yes. I say yes. Jeez. Right. Did I draw something more Saurian? Okay, another Ludo. Just card from. Uh, I think we'll go for mine. Don't want Sagittarius Gaze. Don't think I want Hedonistic Intent. How many cards am I going to draw? Not enough to flip deck. Okay. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not enough, but nearly enough if next turn. And we've got plenty of sorry in there to, to, to stall out if we need. Yeah, 
taking out the Nexuses, I think, has been key, or because the Obsidian Forge is the only thing reason, reason, reason I am still in this. I'm hoping he Stuart, can't burst out into a key charge. We haven't seen the Dust Pixies yet, so he's probably got both Dust Pixies in hand. So that's one, two, three, four, a Nature's Call. If he's got the key charge, he could still do it. If he hasn't got the key charge, then I think this is my game, if he's gone untamed. I'm just thinking, if I played this wrong, should I have, should I have left the Wrath protection available for Faust? Mm, maybe I have. Maybe I got so focused on um, going for the uh, Obsidian Forge turn. So yeah, Dust Pixie for two, Dust Pixie four, bounce them back, puts you on eight, and then key charge. If you've got it, if you haven't got it, well, it doesn't make much difference, I'm probably going to Obsidian Forge. Oh, was he doing the math to try and stop me from obsidian forging? Was that what the math was about? Call a bunch go back to hand. Currently stand on seven. Let's think. So, seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we get to ten off this. Okay, off Logos. It's seven, eight, nine, ten. We get to ten off Logos. So we can't do it on Logos either. So we can't do it. Well done, Stuart. You did the maths. Stop me. So we are there, so therefore going to have to go Saurian to stop him.
Um, do I city state? I think I have to, otherwise he's got the key charge. Why can't I get my why can't I cheat? Why can't I scroll to Faust? So I think if he's got if he's got the key charge, he's still won. Um, I think uh, it's got nature's call, so you can nature's call two dust pixies and the Faust. Uh, reap, reap, go to six, seven. Yeah, if you've got the key charge, he's won. The key charge plus nature's call, he's won. Um, and if not, if he goes anything other than that then, yeah, it's an Obsidian Forge victory to me. Yeah, yeah you can wreck my board a bit, but it's, it's not going to be enough. The board's now big enough that the... Um, that the the forge is is gonna gonna trigger for him enough. I mean, he's doing quite a bit of damage to my amber supplies here. Um, GG. Right. Um, let's just have a quick look. What's the best way? Probably logos. Is it logos? Uh, just looking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on table. Um, differences two creatures, two creatures, three amber. Um, yeah, it's it's this. Uh, no, can't read with one of those. Yeah, log off then. So. Um, first things first. To capture, doesn't particularly matter. Don't reap with the books and because it could be the standardized testing which ruins you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Enough. Oh yeah. Yep, 
there we go another animator obsidian forge victory that's the first time i've beaten uh the simple prodigal so that, that's pretty good so yeah uh, one win we'll have to see if we can win out and get that